Hello everyone. In this video, I want to introduce you to BiblicalWiki.com. Now, BiblicalWiki is a personal project of mine. It's essentially a hobby. Um, and I, I suppose the, the first place to start is to kind of compare it to Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a great uh, resource for a lot of information. And uh, this website is not really supposed to replace Wikipedia. It's supposed to be another source with a different focus. Uh, as the name implies, it's about the Bible, but it's not just about the Bible, like about biblical events or uh, the history of the Bible. It's about the biblical worldview. Now, a biblical worldview is a worldview that is based on the Bible. So everybody has a worldview. Uh, the people who write Wikipedia articles, they have worldviews. They might vary to some degree, but everybody has a worldview. Um, now, Wikipedia, the main worldview that's uh, presented there, as far as science goes, is evolution. That we all evolved from something, which evolved from something else. So chimps or orangutans um, and so on. Uh, the biblical worldview is based on the Bible. The Bible says that God created the earth in six days. Uh, people have different interpretations of that, but essentially the biblical worldview at least believes that God exists, and the biblical worldview believes that God created uh, the earth and all that's in them, and so on. So whether you whether you have a biblical worldview or not, I, I hope that you'll find this website useful, uh, either in learning more about what the Bible says, or learning about what intelligent people believe about the Bible. Um, so that that's generally the idea. Uh, now we have, because it's a wiki, we have portals. Uh, portals basically represent the larger subjects within the wiki. Uh, this is um, my own personal hobby, so there's not a lot of content on here right now. Uh, but let me just go over the different information that you'll find here. Um, and there'll be more, there'll be more to look at as you go. But I just want to let people know about it now. So the first thing, uh, there's two major subjects, uh, like super subjects, on the wiki at the moment. Uh, the first is the world of the Bible, and then the second is miscellaneous, which is essentially anything that's not relevant to the world of the Bible. So the world of the Bible has a subject uh, about biblical writings. So that would be any of the books of the Bible. Um, if we go there, we can see that there are uh, links for each of the books of the Bible. Obviously there aren't at the moment, but that's because what's the point of having a whole bunch of links that lead to nothing? Uh, the only page that I've created so far is for Genesis. So if we go there, we have an introduction, uh, we have brief you know, information about the authorship, uh, which obviously that could go on and on, so this is just essentially a first draft. Uh, and then after that we have a section-by-section -section overview of Genesis. Uh, each section does not necessarily represent a chapter, so as we see it's chapter 1 verse 1 through chapter 2 verse 3. Uh, each section is depend uh, is broken up by content. So, uh, so far I have chapter 1 verse 1 all the way through to uh, chapter 8 verse 19. Now, uh, how I've been doing it so far for this page specifically uh, is we have a a sentence that kind of describes what that section is about and then um, kind of an abbreviated version of what that section says. So it essentially just follows along with what um, the book says in the, those points. So that's that. Uh, and then we also have cultures and customs which uh, will eventually deal with things like uh, the way people dressed in biblical times, Old Testament and New Testament, uh, the way people talked maybe, the way people acted, um, the way that people related to one another, those sorts of things. So if we go there, we have languages, because that has to do with cultures and customs. Uh, if you don't know a language, you might not realize that, but it has a lot to do with cultures and customs. It really brings out what people think um, about things. You know, for example, you know, the, the way that people talk uh, shows how they think. So, for example, when people talk about luck all the time, are they just mimicking what everyone else does, or do they really believe that things just happen um, because you do something that's lucky, like rubbing a rabbit's foot or something like that? 
Um, so that kind of shows how your culture thinks about things. And then there's also ideas. So right now I just have an article on names. Um, so I could show you that. Talks about the definition of a name. What is a name? Uh, what is a distinguishing name? That's one type of name. A surname. Uh, how they use someone's name in other languages. So then the next section is historical events. Now, historical events uh, from a biblical worldview includes biblical events, because obviously if you believe the Bible, you're going to believe that what the Bible says is historical. Uh, of course, the articles that talk about different biblical events will probably will undoubtedly eventually start to talk about different people's opinions and the debate about whether it's biblical or whether it's historical or not and so on. Um, right now, there's no content in there uh, because that's not something I wanted to start off with. Uh, there's also people, which uh, refers to any biblical people, any people that has anything to do with biblical, the biblical worldview. Uh, well, actually, this is within the world of the Bible, so it's biblical people. Um, so there's not that much here right now. This is just Azariah and Uzziah, uh, which are the same person. So there's not really that much there. Uh, after that, we have plants and animals. Now, plants and animals obviously refers to uh, farm animals, the animals that were around in Israel during the Old Testament and the New Testament. Uh, so, for example, sheep and donkeys. Uh, and it also would be about plants. Uh, tools and architecture would refer to, like, plows, houses. How were houses built? What materials were they did they use to build them? Um anything like that uh, plow plows uh, spades shovels uh, you know um, sawing tools those sorts of things uh, and then after that we have a miscellaneous uh, super section uh, which has a section linguistics which uh, has to do with uh, Hebrew English and Greek um, and also Latin because English, all of our Bibles, if you speak English, are uh, written in English, so it's useful to compare English to these other languages. Uh, Greek and Hebrew, because the Bible was written in Greek and Hebrew and Aramaic. Uh, and Latin, because Latin was spoken by the Romans, and the Romans greatly influenced uh, the Hebrews, uh, especially in the New Testament. So that has a lot to do with, um, you know, the early church and also the New Testament itself specifically. Uh, and then obviously down here we have more information, English translation, so uh, looking at how Latin is translated into English, Greek into English, Hebrew into English. Um, after that we have resources and tools. Now, if you do look at the website now, uh, this, is the, this is the section that has the most useful content at the moment. So if I just open this up, we have uh, hosted resources and tools. These are sources or resources and tools that are that you can actually look at that are on biblicalwiki.com at the moment. And then there's non-hosted resources and tools, which essentially these links will bring you to pages on biblicalwiki.com that describe the source, but doesn't actually provide. So then it would have a link to a third-party website that uh, will give you access to that resource or tool. Uh, so Zephos is a, or Zephos is a uh, Bible um, program so that you can read the Bible and read a lot of things uh, about the Bible on your computer. So the hosted resources and tools includes the Greek lexicon, which is what I've been re uh, working on recently. If we open that up, we see a number of Greek words. Uh, now the idea is that every page in the Greek lexicon will represent a word, a Greek word, and it will have a uh, Strong's numbering uh, on that page so that you can reference it with anything that uses Strong's numbering. Uh, it'll have a very short definition for that word. The definition is essentially kind of a combination of what everybody says uh, the definition of that word is, and it's uh, written up by whoever's working on biblicalwiki.com, so at the moment, me. Uh, and then after that, we have other sources, which uh, essentially tells you what different public domain sources have to say about that word. So uh, right now, there's only Thayer's Greek Dictionary. Uh, this is the entry on um, Abares. 
um, which says it means without weight, it means light. So therefore we have the definition light. <clears throat> After that we have a New Testament, uh, the Foundational New Testament Study Bible, which is something I was working on about two years ago, I believe. Uh, it's online at the moment and you can kind of go through it. it right now the only thing that it covers is Matthew so notice that there's a lot of these footnotes you can hover over um, if you go into the other books there's not really much content there or any any con content in some places so that's that and then there's also the textual toolbox which is just um, a program I was working on a while ago I'd like to eventually finish um, that essentially translates Greek text from English characters into Greek characters or vice vice versa. Uh, and then also there's this uh, which is not a biblical wiki.com project. In other words, it's not something I'm putting together. <clears throat> um, it is Robinson Pierpont's Greek uh, New Testament, which is if you know Greek at all, if you know biblical Greek, uh, you'll be familiar. So this is just an online version uh, in Greek characters. I used the um, Greek translator program that I was talking about a few moments ago to put this together because it was in English characters, so I just changed them into uh, Greek. And so you can read the New Testament in this and go through the different books. And that's about it. So um, obviously there's a lot more, there's a lot of information uh, that will be added to this. The idea that I'm kind of going for right now is starting with public domain resources and putting those on the website uh, preferably public domain resources that are not anywhere else on the web so for example Robinson Pierpont's Greek New Testament that's elsewhere that's a lot of places um, but I wanted to have it here because it's very useful to have a Greek text on the website so that people can refer to it um, and then uh, the Greek lexicon is there's Greek that's a few places, but it seems like a lot of times it's abbreviated. It's not, they don't have the whole, they don't have all of the information, all the notes of, uh, from, uh, Thayer's Greek, um, uh, lexicon. So, um, this is different in that I plan to have, for every entry I do have, I plan to have the entire thing. Um, I'm getting that directly from Thayer's Greek uh, lexicon that I have a, a physical copy of. Um, I'm scanning it and then um, and then using uh, OCR, an OCR uh, application to read the text and then I'm manually going through and comparing it with the, the digital text that I get out of the OCR application to the actual uh, physical text that I see and I'm using that to uh, slowly put more and more on here so yeah so uh, this is just going to keep growing eventually um, I plan to I plan to keep working on it it's a hobby um, if you'd like to check it out right now that's fine um, hopefully you'll check it out sometime in the future I, I would like to get make people more aware of what I'm doing um, even though there's not that much right now um, and I'm hoping that uh, within 20 years that this will really start to be a, a good resource for a lot of people um, and that it'll help them to learn and, who knows, maybe change their minds about some things. So, all right, well, thank you. Bye.